Okay, so hello folks and welcome to my new recording here. So in this video I want to give you a brief overview of what I have been up to lately. And so I got this Grid Seed G Blade uh, Miner and it's a script miner. Uh, you can see this here. It's actually taking a fair amount of my computer's resources as you can tell from the choppiness of the recording. But essentially, I'm mining at 2.83 mega hashes per second. So that's the equivalent of 2,800 uh, kilohashes per second, or I think it, it it's a lot more hashes per second. But essentially, I got a low-end ASIC script coin miner, and so the reason I say low end is because it cost about a hundred dollars compared with most other uh, you know new uh, miners for cryptocurrency which generally are in the range of you know a couple hundred to several thousand dollars this um, the miner came in the mail and I plugged it in with a power cord which I had you know a splitter on uh, so I plugged in one part of it into one side and one part of it into the other side. And what I failed to realize is that, you know, this takes a ton of power. So I actually had to just leave one of the boards completely turned off and use the other board. There's no graphical user interface for this. Uh, so what you have to do is you go into the miner itself, which you download uh, from BFG Miner uh, for Grid Seed. It takes a bit of trouble to find it. But then you scroll down to the bottom of the folder. Um, I did scan this with both Windows Defender and with Malwarebytes Pro uh, anti-malware, and both of them came up perfectly fine. Okay, so I'm gonna go here, uh, right click on it, click Edit. In here, uh, you'll see um, these things right here. Keep in mind, this is not my actual password. Uh, my password is something totally different. This is just the password for the miner. I have no clue why they made me put a password in there for that. And anyways, y you know, I'm just doing this for fun. Uh, I am by no means going to be making any money from this. In fact, I'm going to be taking a fair amount of a loss from getting this miner. It's mainly just that I enjoy exploring different kinds of technology, and this one is, you know, one of those cutting-edge kinds of technology, which it, it's just it's fascinating watching my miner working through these different uh, shares uh, from this thing. Uh, you'll notice occasionally it will say uh, share is rejected or like a share is slightly stale or something like that. The Grid Seed Zero is the board that I have turned on. And once I get another power cord, it will also say Grid Seed One. So I'll have uh, board zero and board one. I don't really know what OCL and uh, zero and one are. I heard that it was basically uh, something from the outdated version of BFG Miner. Unfortunately, since the grid seed that I have, or the grid seed G or G blade that I have is quite old, uh, you need to use an older version of the BFG miner for this. And as you can see, I've got BFG miner version 3.10.0. I think they're on version like five or something like that by now. Anyways, uh, scrolling down here, right now I'm using, or I'm mining for Bella coin on ICA pool, or, uh, so basically you need to use a pool to mine for cryptocurrency because since, you know, it's just, it's too hard at this point in time to do any solo mining, you basically need to be in a pool with other people. Uh, unfortunately, as you can see, I'm in a pool with one other person. Um, so there's a bunch of different script coins available. Uh, I just chose one that was a newer script coin because that way it would give me a better chance of being able to actually get any of it. I spent quite a while trying to mine Dogecoin. 
But unfortunately, Dogecoin is incredibly difficult to mine nowadays because the difficulty on it is so high. And it's also not helping that Dogecoin has recently uh, gotten much more popular and the price of it's going up quite a bit, which makes more people mine it. And if I have, say, a, you know, three to four mega hash per second, just with one board, of course, uh, a hash rate, that means that someone who has a couple hundred mega hash per second or something like a giga hash per second or a tera hash per second or something like that, it just makes it so that I will never be able to get Dogecoin. Uh, I'm going to just click on my funds here so that you can see what I've got at this point in time, it, I pretty much guarantee it's not going to be that much. It'll be less than like 0 0.0001 Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot less than that. Anyways, um, <laughs> I, I mean, again, as I said, I'm doing this for fun. I'm doing this because I really enjoy, you know, just playing around with different uh, cryptocurrencies, different cryptocurrency miners, learning about, uh, you know, this entire new ecosystem. So, uh, as you, as you can see, I spent probably, well, I, I, you can't see that I was trying to mine it, but I spent probably eight or so hours mining for Dogecoin and I did not get a single little bit of it, which, you know, I, I I thought I was going to be getting tons of it because, you know, apparently Dogecoin was created for fun. But what I failed to realize is that Dogecoin is one of those serious coins now. And, you know, while it might have a cute dog as this sort of image, it is by no means easy to mine. And I've been mining uh, Bellacoin for the past, you know, couple of hours and I've got barely any of it. And keep in mind that one Bitcoin is about $1,650 or so last time I checked. And so, I mean, you know, this looks like an awfully tiny amount, but in reality, it's, you know, maybe about a quarter of a penny in U.S. dollars, which is still not any money at all. Anyways, I'm going to close out of this here. Uh, what I what I do want to eventually try to do is figure out which of these script based coins will give me the most, uh, I guess, the most money for mining it. I think, if I recall correctly, it might be. It, it's one of the ones that has a green icon. I think it might be the Aurora coin, but I'm not certain. I hope it's not Litecoin because Litecoin is insanely difficult to mine. However, you know, there are a fair amount of people who are mining for Litecoin. Um, but what I might end up doing is just mining a little bit on some of these newer coins. Uh, if I click on the script thing right here, it'll bring up a list of the different script-based coins. That's the other thing with ASIC boards, is you can only mine for a currency which is built on the algorithm script. So popular ones you may have heard of are Litecoin, Dogecoin, and Bellacoin seems to be making some sort of motions in the sort of crypto community. But, y you know, the main important ones you want to be looking at is what the net hash rate is. So the net hash rate with Bellacoin is 77.74 giga hash per second, which is really, really high. And so that shows that people are definitely interested in this coin. When I started mining it this morning, actually, it was at 100.10 like for difficulty. So it's gone up quite a bit in difficulty. And I think there were only two nodes this morning when I was uh, started on, or when I started on it. So it's definitely been getting more popular just throughout this one day. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm going to learn how to use this website eventually here. Um, this is just a pool site that I found. 
Um, but anyways, uh, so going down here, World Coin now, Verge Coin now, Solar Flare Coin. I tried that for a little bit, but then I did a little bit of research into it, and I was like, eh, I'm not sure about that one. Um, y you know, basically, as with any of the altcoins, it's pretty much just something you'll end up doing for fun. You're not going to make pretty much any profit from doing this. And as I said, you know, I have a low-end script coin miner. Uh, it's an ASIC script coin miner, but, you know, at even at its maximum power of, you know, five to six mega hash per second, it's still just way too low powered compared with the modern boards. For instance, I think Antminer is coming out with a new script coin miner, which will have, I think, 550 mega hash per second just for one unit. Uh, it, I think they're selling it for like $1,600 or $2,100 for pre-ordering it. But yeah, no, that's totally going to just change the entire landscape of the script mining community. But for the time being, you know, since there's no extremely powerful miners out yet, like the ant miner, which is going to be coming soon, it's, you know, just fun to play around with the coins here. Um, I'm getting, you know, pretty solid 3.8, you know, plus or minus a little bit. I say I just popped up to 4.12 mega hash per second. And, you know, for the time being, this is what I've been up to. I just wanted to make another video, say what I've been up to, and I will see you guys all back in my next video. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. It'll help me out a lot, and like this video, and I'll see you all back next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.